hello everyone welcome back today in this video i will explain that how you can import the existing database into the new one even your existing database having a different structure so this question arise four year ago and uh, someone answer this question and uh, there is also a link how to use multiple databases and i opened this link in there so now i'm going to uh, this is my existing database which is uh, name is php froebel sms and uh, i'm going to import this uh, into froebel sms so basically i'm going to uh, import this data into the new one even my uh, folder structure is uh, even my database structure is changed from this one okay and uh, I will perform this step by step so how you can seed the data from the existing one to new one so let's start it i have fresh installation of laravel and configure the database with the froebel sms which is the new one this one okay and now i'm going to create a new seeder here okay and the command is uh, oh i it's too bigger so let me scroll down so first clear and oops uh, i it's a typo okay the command is php artisan make cedar and uh, here you need to mention the cedar name so i'm going to create the user cedar because i'm going to seed the user data so that's why i'm going to create the user cedar and it says that user uh, cedar created successfully and cedars are stored in the database and in the database we have a cedar directory and in the reader our new cedar is there and by default it's uh, having uh, this run method so you need to uh, put your code here okay so go to the first uh, stack overflow t and copy these things okay paste them there and we will structure them there so first you need to add this db facade okay this one and uh, this one here you need to uh, uh, require a old connection so first uh, let's build a connection we have only one connection okay we are on the local host that's why we specified local host and the port is also okay and uh, we did not set any password so this is the uh, one database so uh, if i want to uh, uh, another database so let me go there and uh, copy this one and paste it there okay this one is a second database and uh, i'm adding a second argument here <laughs> not argument it's a second string okay i'm adding this second string with all okay so this is our second database and uh, yes i'm assigning is to my sql and uh, let's go to the database dot php and here you need to also uh, copy this okay this and uh, paste it above okay paste it on above oh i already pasted <laughs> so let's remove this and uh, start it from scratch okay i'm going to paste this here and now i need to change the variable names env variable names so so here i need to attach a second okay and uh, it should be port should be also second the database second uh, you can also uh, if your root username and password is same you can skip this step but i'm putting this for administration purposes okay if we have three four five variables are there and this is mysql so we need to make this mysql 2 because this is our second database so our connection is set okay and uh, uh, we need to go to the env and uh, change the database we have the other database which is the php froebel sms okay let's make this php froebel sms okay save this one and we are in the oh what the hell is this oh we did not run any server that's why it's not going to uh, reload the database again so let me go to the directory of the project and it's inside the c and and then 
Laravel. Oops. <laughs> Web apps. It's not apps. And uh, then okay, client. And uh, other one is Froble. Oops. Froble SMS. And then PHP Artisan serve. So our server is running. So uh, we set this uh, second database and uh, now we need to go to the seeders and here we need to specify the uh, for second database so uh, where we are going to fetch the data so the second database name is mysql2 and the table is user so we are going to fetch the data from the user table from this database php froval okay this one users and uh, then we are storing this uh, user there and uh, this one and uh, we are uh, implement a for each loop here and uh, here we need to mention the new database like we have uh, this one okay and we uh, mention the connection here the first mysql okay and, uh, and this is the second one and this is the first one okay and these uh, reference variables are there okay second database and uh, the name is we are getting the name from this uh, username so there is a username so we need to change this to a username and uh, we also mm, we need to put a username there because we have a username field and this is not nullable so this will throw an error that's why i'm putting this here okay and uh, uh, email should be email the password should be password and that's it uh, our connection is set successfully now we need to run the seeder so before uh, uh, running the seeder you need to register this seeder in the database seeder okay this one database seeder and let me comment this and uh, add a user seeder oh sorry it's my problem okay it's now you need to register this inside the run method and uh, inside this call array okay and we register this user seeder and if you are uh, not going to register this you need to mention this like uh, here php artisan db seed and you need to mention the seeder here so uh, i think it should be uh, uh, I think class and class you need to mention is user seeder there user and seeder so you don't need to perform this step but I uh, added this in the run method so I will execute this only db seed okay and it says oh exceptions are there so let me go through this exception so it says unknown database php froval sms I think I misspell it. Let me go there. Go to the seeders mm, database dot php env and uh, froble. I think it's uh, e, not a. So it will restart. It restart the server because we are in the uh, Laravel 8 version. So let's clear it and run it again. db seed and our data is seeded successfully. Let's go to the this is the uh, existing database and this is our new database let's refresh it and yes our data is there okay and name and email a username and this is by default zero and everything is there the password is there we have seeded this 10 records and uh, believe me i already seeded uh, 20,000 records in 5 to 10 minutes so there is a uh, a uh, lot of uh, of uh, time saving and uh, other one is uh, you don't need to worry about the data entry task okay even our database structure is totally changed so you can fetch the existing database column and put them into the new one so this is the uh, simplest video i uh, performed this from this uh, stack overflow and i will add the link in the description so if you have any question or facing any error let's uh, comment out in the comment box so see you then bye bye